You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, I have got your full roster of weekly spoilers from Monday, September 23rd, all the way through Friday, September 27th. Lucky Spencer is absolutely horrified, and it looks like Carly and Brennan are having a little spark action happening next week. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and let's dive right into everything juicy coming for next week, starting with the action on Monday, September 23rd, Season 62, Episode 15. So Portia is in Dr. Terry Randolph's office. The two co-chiefs are talking about some staffing concerns. They're short in some areas and are talking about new hires. And Portia sees Brad Cooper's name as a rehire for the lab. And Portia rants at Terry, who defends her decision to rehire Brad. And of course, we have these hinky Heather test results. And initially, I was thinking, okay, Portia did this because she was being so weird looking at that blood vial. But maybe with Brad in the lab, he's the one who did it since Heather killed his best friend, Britt. Remember, Britt was one of the last victims of the hook killer. And yeah, so if he had an inkling that that blood work would help Heather get out of prison, absolutely. I could even see him getting the job there just to mess with Heather's test results. So we'll see how it goes. Carly spends time with Jack Brennan at Bobby's and things between them are very charged. A little bit of sparks flying and he tells her that things and people are not always as they seem. And I don't know if he's trying to get her to look at him in a more positive light. Elizabeth Weber has some doubts and she's voicing them. And this could be more concerns with Rick asking questions about Heather's lab test. We'll see. Curtis has some advice for TJ Ashford and advises him to never turn your back on something you love. And Gio Palmieri and Brooklyn Quartermain are talking and she tells him if he repeats what she said, she'll deny it and she will hurt him. So that's kind of fun. Can't wait to see that. And Molly talks to Dex and it looks like they might be having a beer or something. And she says, maybe the universe is trying to tell me something. Very interesting stuff. Heading into Tuesday, September 24th for season 62, episode 16, we have got attorney Martin Gray out at Pentonville. He is having a meeting with his new client, Alexis Davis. I am sure she's going to be happy to have a shark on her side and Martin already agreed with Sonny that he would do whatever it took to get her out of there. And since Martin has been Valentine's lawyer for so long, we know he is very comfortable operating in gray areas. And I think Alexis is going to tell him everything, see what he can do for her. And I do wonder if she's going to tell him that she suspects the man who's paying him is the real killer. Meanwhile, Carly and Sonny have a talk. They are strategizing. Maybe this is more about solidifying that alibi in case it comes back around to, you know, questioning her. We'll see. And TJ goes to his Aunt Stella Henry and opens up to her. Meanwhile, Diane finds herself running interference for someone. Usually that's one of her clients and Jason's out of town, so maybe it's Sunny. Meanwhile, Chase disagrees with Dante Falconeri and they are butting heads. I can only guess it is about the Jagger Kate's thing. You know, Dante may be doubting that Alexis is the culprit because, you know, that's Sam's mom and he knows her. She has killed before. We all know that. But generally, she has a very good reason for it. And if you remember, it was Chase and Dex that first thought that Anna might be off the mark pursuing Sunny, but clearly she wasn't. But now she's out of town doing other stuff. So we'll see what the cops are doing without her there as an influence. Wednesday, September 25th is episode 17 of season 62. Jordan goes back to see Dr. Isaiah Gannon. You know, they had that nice scene the other day where she brought burgers and fries to feed him when he was so tired of hospital food. And she also gave him a very stern warning not to let Cyrus Renault back in his hospital room, not to let the Bible and the benevolent attitude fool him that the man is dangerous and is the one who put his niece in the coma. So I'm very interested to see what she's opening up to him about. 
about if it's going to be more on that, if she's getting him up to speed on, you know, who knows who and what's going on in Port Charles, because he's going to be on the character canvas. Looks like he's going to be hired at General Hospital pretty soon. And I'll remind you, Monday they were talking about staffing issues and... There is a very able doctor, and as soon as he's back on his feet, I'm guessing he's going to be one of their new hires. Molly has a meeting with her mom's attorney, Martin Gray. That's going to be interesting because Molly is, you know, works for the ADA. She works for Robert Scorpio. She is a prosecutor, but the Port Charles office of the district attorney are not the ones prosecuting Alexis. Remember, it's a federal prosecutor because Cates was an FBI agent. So I'm interested to see how this dialogue goes. And Sam McCall drops in on Carly. That should be lots of fun. Meanwhile, Sidwell has an offer that involves playing for high stakes, perhaps life and death stakes. So if you saw on Friday's episode, there was a guy that approached Sidwell at that casino place in Kenya, and he had something to say about Anna. I'm guessing that guy probably recognized Anna as a WSB agent, something like that, you know? Because he definitely knows something about them. And he basically implied to Holly on Friday that he was bringing them back to the camp and was going to be targeting them. So we'll see. I do think he's bitten off more than he can chew by inviting Jason and Anna back to his little encampment. It's not going to be so easy to take them out. And also on Wednesday, Christina has a heartfelt talk with her dad, Sonny. Obviously, she's going to be distraught that Alexis is in prison. And at this point, she's got to know that Sonny did it. So I'm curious how this chat's going to go. Thursday, September 26, season 62, episode 18. Stella has a lot of scenes this week. And on Thursday, she is spending time reconnecting with Tracy Quartermain. I love their vibe. I love Stella. Any day Verne Watson on is a lot of fun. Jason and Anna feel like the walls are closing in on Thursday because they probably are because the guy knows who they are. I don't know if he knows what they want, which is lucky, but he knows who they are. And Ned gets some information on Thursday that absolutely shocks him. Drew interrupts Willow and Michael on Thursday. I'm sure that's going to be awkward because he and Willow are fighting temptation. I thought it was very interesting that he told her on Friday, nothing is ever going to happen between us. And she looked a little like thoughtful about that. Like, really? Are you sure? She's definitely tempted. And Lucky is completely crushed by news that he gets. So on Thursday, I believe that he gets to talk to Jason or Anna and they tell him that they came for him because Lulu is dying and needs a chunk of his liver if he's a match. That takes us to Friday, September 27th, season 62, episode 19. Tracy is gloating. There are so many possibilities. Tracy likes to gloat at everyone, so I won't even hazard a guess on who she's talking to. And Holly takes a chance and makes a big move. Meanwhile, Diane and Robert have date night. They have a little night out on the town and some romance. And Carly is meeting up with Brennan again on Friday. And I believe this is a scene. I can't show you the photo for copyright reasons. But this time she's at his office at the WSB local office. And they are looking down at a screen, a computer monitor, and they are both looking very stressed out. So I wonder if they are seeing some sort of satellite footage of what's happening in Kenya, since she knows everybody's over there trying to get lucky out. And Lucy Co gives Natalia Ramirez a little history lesson. So, and again, that could be about anybody involved. I'm guessing it's probably more about Tracy and why she dislikes Lucy so much. That's a really fun story, you know, for her to find out that they used to be in-laws and the whole Allen thing. I, I love that whole vibe back in the day. All right, those are all of our General Hospital spoilers for next week. Please drop your comments on what you're excited to see. Definitely subscribe if you've not. And be sure and come back soon. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt talking GH with you seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 